Let's take a journey offshore of the Osa Peninsula, Costa Rica, far beyond where the rivers stain the sea. 12 nautical miles beyond Drake Bay rises Caño Island Biological Reserve, and 12 miles beyond that lies the domain of some of the largest dolphin congregations on Earth. From a hundred to hundreds to megapods that number in the thousands. Today we want to show you spinner dolphins and their megapods. There is really nothing else on this blue planet like a spinner dolphin megapod. They have some of the grandest festivals on earth. Here we would like to let you spend a few moments with them at sea, like we do. We hope you enjoy. Is there a time of year when babies are born? How does the pod behave during a birth? How long does it take a baby spinner dolphin to learn to spin? Is it possible for them to have twins? Now that the tuna boats are gone, will their numbers grow? How do they select their mates? Will the dolphins living outside the protected area move in? At what age do the baby dolphins stop drinking milk and start eating fish? What's the deepest they'll feed? How long can the baby dolphins hold their breath? How do their sounds change when they go deep? How many different species do they interbreed with? How many cetacean species do they communicate with? Do they dive deeper in the night or in the day? Does bow riding have less impact than tuna nets? Duh. Why have they let us become part of the pod? Why do they do the things they do? What is the reason for a megapod? What brings the megapods to the Osa? Is there a way to count how many there are? How deep do they go? And what are all the kinds of things they eat? How has over 40 years of being netted by an industrial tuna fleet affected their populations? What will we learn when we compare the new net-free areas and the areas that will still be killed by the tuna fleet? We found that a mothership sailboat works best to become part of the pod. The megapods are more likely to accept us if the people come in a mixed group of young and old and male and female. Scanning the sea from high on a mothership, we have found the dolphin megapods every day for over two months straight without an airplane. This allows us to also connect with local small business owners and help them increase their chances of a world-class experience. This in turn helps all the local hotels, tourism businesses, and local communities. And when we are with the dolphins as witness, we make the poachers go somewhere else. We have learned that from the surface, we are only seeing the tip of a dolphin iceberg, and that the best way to see below is bow riding. You can see a bow rider on each side of the boat here in the water. So what do we see when we're bow riding? Some of the most amazing sights on our blue planet. When you are bow riding, 
and the dolphins surround you and begin to look you in the eye, you are touched forever. Many times when we swim with the spinners, it seems too slow for them. But when we bow ride, they will stay with us for hours every day. Maybe because for many years, when they're with us, the tuna boat killers go away. Dive in with our amigos and think of what else we need to learn from them. study and protect these dolphin megapods of Costa Rica. That is our hope. <laughs>